Hello, I hope you all liked the first episode of Final Fantasy XII and I hope you're as excited as I am for this playthrough. I am a little bit a ways into this game as of this recording and I've been going back and editing some of the early streams that I did of this game. Now usually I will edit out kind of a lot of the menuing that I do in these type of games but I realized that the menu stuff is very important in this game and winning the battles kind of takes place in the menus. Setting up gambits, setting up your licenses, picking jobs and everything. So I will be including a lot of that at least in these early episodes because I feel like a lot of people are gonna wanna maybe see that. I could be wrong, I'm not sure. But if you guys are a fan of Final Fantasy XII, if you love this game, then I feel like you're gonna wanna know like how I'm kind of building my teams and my characters and everything. Also, just to let you guys know, I do a lot of exploration. I talk to every NPC when I come to a new town or camp or anything like that. And I will be keeping all of that in these videos. If you guys don't like that stuff, then I guess you could skip to the cutscenes. Um, but whichever way you want to watch these is fine, but this is what I'm going to include in these videos and I hope a lot of people will be appreciative of being able to see those parts of the playthrough. Okay, let's get back into more Final Fantasy XII. To Low Town. Looks like I am. Oh yeah, yeah, I know where I'm at. It's uh, right here, right? The guard's gone. Ooh. A little underground tunnel kind of deal. I like how well lit these little shops are. It's a really nice look. Fidget. Arvon, did you go see the parade? Me? Are you kidding? Won't ever become a sky pirate watching parades. Gotta keep training. Today we're training to hunt treasure. I'm gonna hide and you have to find me. I'll be somewhere in the south sprawl. Hop to it, mateys. Last one to find me is a buckethead. What? Do I really have to find them? Deadbeat. Low town. Yeah, I like low town. You got your north sprawl in the north and what was down south? Oh, right, the south sprawl. That old Dallin down there is something else. Get him talking. There's no telling when he'll stop. What are you selling? Books? Encyclopedias? This must be... Alan? See that house on the corner? Well, it's empty now. You see, the man who'd been living there recently passed away. He had fled from Nabutus during the war, the poor dear. If I'm not mistaken, that Sikh laughing in the shop just across the way was his landlord. Demented merchant? You've come to make a purchase, yes? Oh, my apologies. My store has no wares fit for children, I'm afraid. What do you sell? I like the music down here. Back before the war, I led a fine life up in the city. But I refused to bow my head to the Imperials, so they took everything I had and forced me to live here in Lowtown. Oh lord. I don't know what the flashing means. I don't know if this means this is uh, the guy I'm supposed to talk to. Probably not. Private re residence. Doors shut tightly. Oh. Let me see. So, oh, the guy we're looking for is way down there. We came from here. Oh boy. Okay. There's a lot to explore. Lots to explore. But, luckily, exploring is my middle name. Bus budget? No fair. No fair doesn't even... Aw, she got tossed into the air at the parade. I 
want to be tossed in the air too. Hi, it's hey Vaughn. You're here for more rat hunting? The door is open and ready to go. I still can't get that door on the left open though. Old Dallin said it led someplace really important. Can't wait to see what's inside. Storehouse number five. The door is locked. You need inside again? Um, I think I'll wait, actually. Miguel keeps all the provisions for his shop over there in Storehouse 5. You shouldn't be poking around in there. It's locked for a reason, you know. Ooh, what's this? Traveling merchant. Let's see what you got. Onion bolts, eye drops, and potions. Ooh, I used quite a few of my potions. Let's buy a couple. I have 247 gil. Oh god, you know what? What can I sell here? Can I sell any of... Oh, this is under loot, so I'm guessing I can sell all of this stuff. goods are available unassuming surcoat simple surcoat stitched from the choice pieces of leather okay i'm gonna buy it and i'm gonna buy a couple potions and then i'm gonna call it a day then i'm gonna go to my equipment and see what the hell i just purchased <laughs> it's anything i can um optimize oh crap what did I buy? Chromed leathers? Is that what I got? Or did I get that somewhere else? It's a light armor too. Okay. How do I go to my... Oh, inventory. Uh-huh, uh-huh, abilities, armor, I guess I got the chromed leathers. I have LP, can I get light armor two? Light armor three, light armor two for 15. Obtain. Cool. Demise. Yeah! We did it! We're learning! Snickle boy, city's off limits till further notice. That's all they said before locking us down here. No explanation, nothing! A little while ago, I heard it was because there was a parade for some important person from the Empire. What did you. What did they think we'd try to do? Ooh, what's this? Treasure. 40 gil. This is cool so far. And I love the music down here. This is really nice. Did I come down here yet? The consul can talk all he wants. He'll never fool us down in Lowtown. We remember who it was what brought down Dalmasca. who he's talking about Bosch or the person who just came and took over oh these guys are Sikhs oh okay this poor fellow here lost his son in the war he's built up so much hatred over the years no telling what he might do I lost my big bro in the war Water watcher. Did you know this water all comes from a big river in the Dalmasca Ester Sand? It runs right through Lowtown on down into the sewers. I heard there are ghosts living down in those sewers too. Way deep inside and real hard to get places. Ghosts! Bruh. 
bruh. I can't sit like her. I literally can't do that. I remember I saw my friend when we were kids. She sat down like that. And I was, I was like, I thought it looked so weird because I'd never seen anybody do that. And then I tried to do it and my legs just don't bend like that. I'm, I would say I'm slightly pigeon toed. So yeah, that was not happening for me. I need to get down this way to see our guy. I don't know what that fluttery instrument is, but I like it. I don't care how great they say this new console is. They can't fool me. I ain't gonna sit back while they turn us into the Empire. So some people were swayed by his sweet talking words, but not everyone. Sometimes I play down in the alley in front of old Dallins, but I ain't supposed to go up to Southgate. No? Ooh, ooh, what's down here? Ooh, this place looks cool. Hey, we got some plants down here. This is not, this is actually really nice. Whoa, whoa, what the hell? This is a danger, safety hazard. Somebody call OSHA, there's no rails. It's a bottomless pit, you can't even see that. What the hell? There's kids around here. Hello? No money, no job. I'm bored to tears. See that man squatting down over there? Uh-huh. They say he used to be a sky pirate. Don't know if he was a for real one or a for fake one though. You were a sky pirate? Fighting against the Empire is all well and good, but it's not enough. You've got to find something more to live for, a dream to follow. <gasps> you met? You met? I don't know what kind of world he'll grow up in, but so long as there are people who follow their dreams, it can't be all that bad. What if their dreams are literally murdering people or taking over your country or things like that? What then? What you got for me? He hardly sold nothing today. Well, maybe I could buy some onion bombs. Onion bombs, attack power one incendi incendiaries. Antidote, remove poison. Oh, I need that. I need a few of those at least, you know? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get an onion bomb too, just cause I can. Hi everybody. You ever wish there were more ways to get up to the city? Sometimes I feel claustrophobic down here. I don't know, it's kind of a nice vibe down here. It's kind of, kind of nice. I feel sorry for that guy selling stuff in the courtyard. No one ever buys from him. I won't let that happen to me. I'm gonna be rich. Oh, I bought something from him. I bought his antidote and his bombs. Hope it helps him out. X adventure. You ever find yourself down in the sewers? Watch yourself, boy. They're crawling with critters. You especially want to watch out for elementals. Don't linger in any one place too long and you should be able to avoid them. Imperials think they are keeping us from going where we wanna. You know whose fault all this is? That Bosch, that's who, dirty traitor. Yeah, what the hell was up with that guy? He killed our brother. He killed our brother. He not only betrayed everyone, he killed our brother. Do you think dreams really can come true? Or are they just a way for us to escape our troubles? The other day, this scary looking man told me we'd be taking our kingdom back soon. If that's really true, then maybe it's okay for me to dream too. Oh, revolution. The one's planning a revolution. Okay, so where? I need to go. Okay, we need to go this way. I'm 
tired of training. I hate letting Philo down, but I don't really care about winning anyway. So I'll just wait here until I lose. What if everyone decides to give up? Vaughn, is that you? Can't remember the last time I saw you down here to visit old Dallin. There's so many kids down here. It's like mostly children. Are they all orphans? From the war? This is all Bosch's fault. Vaughn, here to see old Dallin? I'm just waiting for my friends, or mates, to show up. What's taking them so long? Jolly Seek. Old Dallin was telling me how this place was once a great storehouse that explains the passage up to the south gate. Back when they were moving freight and caravans from Giza Plains through south gate, they must have needed doors this large to pass through. Pity this is the only one that still works. Oh, that's neat. Okay, Dallin, are you in here? Old Dallin's place. We made it. Finally. Ah, if it isn't Von Ratsbane. Come for a tip on how to secure something bigger and in armor by the East Gate? What? You already heard about that? Wise I may not be, but well informed I am. They'll get what's coming to them someday, believe me. But that's not why I'm here. You got a pet rabbit? Do tell. I want to know how to sneak into the palace. They've got to have some great stuff in there. Thought I'd partake. <laughs> that rabbit has a long Not one tail. to mince words, are you, boy? The Empire protects all that's hers, and that means the palace and all the treasures inside. That's why I'm gonna do it. To take back what's ours. So, our champion of the sewers aspires to noble action. Admirable. Perhaps I can help you. Ah! Now that I think on it, there was a rumor. Yes, a secret passageway into the palace walls, a door, and a magic stone that opens the way. Let me pause for a second. Husbando, order whatever you want. Surprise me. Surprise me. That's it. This is exactly why I came to talk to you first, Alan. So, where's this, uh, magic stone? Uh, oh, I've had it for years, if I can remember where I've tucked it away. I've heard all I need, so this, uh, crescent stone, can I have it? Then I can find that secret passage into the palace, right? Not much of a listener, are you? The crescent stone has lost its magics. Without the power of a sunstone, it will be of little use. Right, so where can I get one of these sunstones? You seek Giza Plains. Speak with the nomads there. You will find your sunstone. Leave by the south gate and continue south. Their village is not far. <coughs> oh, boy. There are like to be beasts on the plane, so be careful, my boy. You don't have to worry about me. I'll be back before you know it. You may want to talk to the Mughal from the Cartographer's Guild in the Southern Plaza before you leave for Giza. It can't help hurt to have a map. Oh, yes. You go into Giza Plains, be careful. Yes, I want a map. Wait, hold on. Let me see. Cartographer Guild in the Southern Plaza. Let's see. Giza Plains. Hang it right here, and I'm practically at South Gate. This will be easy.
Okay, so is this where the cartographer is, maybe? What? Never seen a guard standing watch over a gate crystal before, boy? Very powerful, these. One touch can make you feel like new. And if you're fortunate enough to have a teleport stone, you can even teleport to any other gate crystal you've ever been to. Nice. Save. Oh, I can turn in the mark. Yes, let's do that. Huh? Oh, there we go. I want to go over here. and their guests only inside the aerodome today oh, aerodome mm. oh pretty well hello there you're no stranger to the yellow birds just beside me i'm sure yes my friend i speak of the chocobos capo, capo. these noble birds make for excellent steeds fleet of foot and sturdy of limb arduous journeys fly by atop a chocobo Coco uh, Capo <laughs> Cocobo <laughs> Five gill five hundred gill. I don't have that. Okay, so where's this cartographer? I think I I think I misunderstood the directions. They said on the south side? I didn't see anybody. But maybe I wasn't looking closely enough. Let's turn in our mark first. Ah, Vaughn, defeated the rogue Tomato, did you? I was worried you might not be ready just yet, but you did a fine job of it. Your bounty for completing the hunt. 300 gil, two potions, and a teleport stone. We'll let you in on a little something to help you along. Did you ever notice a banga standing watch in front of a building in the north end? It might be worth your time to pay him a visit. Show him the clan primer I gave you, he'll let you inside. As for what's there, you'll just have to see for yourself. A banga on the north side. The parade's really bringing him out, in it? Put my friend here in a foul mood. Says he don't care to be pushed, pulled, and or pressed. You'd never know it to look at me, but I used to be a sky pirate. I worked and worked and finally had enough money to buy me a beaten old airship. Nothing up to then had put a bigger smile on my face. Ah. Ah. So I am in the bazaar right now. That'll take me to Low Town. I don't. I didn't go to the ceremony. I just stayed here thinking about how things used to be. Oh, sorry. I've come across, I've come across the Esther Sand to stock up on a few things. Now I hear some beasts appeared out there attacking desert wayfarers. You defeated the creature? Really? You must be tougher than you look. Well, I guess there's no need to worry about the trip back now, is there? Uh, but there's a T-Rex you might want to watch out for. Maybe. Spies, authentic Bancor. Oh, spices. <laughs> what do you say? Care for a pinch or two? Yes, I'll take. I'll take a pinch of spy. Spies. My husband spent almost every last gill we had on a shipment of new goods for the shop, hoping to keep the customers coming. But there's a creature wandering the desert that's been keeping traders from getting through the city. My husband's been so worried. It's, uh, in the taver tavern. Okay, um, hmm. Mysterious merchant. <laughs> Have all sorts of goodies for sale, lad. Hee <laughs> hee, but none for you. Ha <laughs> ha, members only here. Whatever. 
Nigello played his hand well. Not everyone is lucky enough to be the provisioner for the consul's fate. We've got some catching up to do. All right, see? This must be him. Ah, you've got your primers, so you have. Well, what are you standing about out here for? In with you. Can't quite recall your face. Are you new? Might want to pay special heed to what folks inside here have to say. Let me in. I spent five hours trying to... What is this? Fight in place? Who's this? Clan Hall. What are you looking at? This ain't no place for children. Him? He's an exception. His parents were both hunters, and they were friends of mine to boot. That is until they set out on a hunt for this one most notorious mark. But I'll avenge them. Be sure of it. I've been keeping my an ear to the ground, listening for any sign of that mark ever since. That's what this place is all about. A deadly serious business. This not to be taken lightly, you hear? Ooh, this is where I get all my hunts from. New member, are you? My name's Bonsat. I'm a, I'm a hunter here in Clan Centurio. Pleased to meet ya. Are you new here, Capo? My advice for you. Always be sure to check for the latest bills. Never know when a new one might be posted, Capo. No matter the notice board you check, the bills will be the same. So go to the nearest one and you're set, Capo. So, Tamaj recommended you to the clan, did he? I bet he pretended he didn't even know about the clan hall. If he had told you where it was, he'd be in trouble. Finding the clan hall is one of the tests to join the clan. Where you go from here is up to you. Oh, I totally failed the test. <laughs> hmm. You look like you barely know which end of the sword goes in the monster. Don't do anything to hurt the clan or yourself. Mon Monblan. Popopo, yours is a new face. Are you a hunter? Welcome to our clan hall. I'm Monblan, founder of Clan Centurio. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance, Kupo. Our clan has a very strict entrance examination. We should begin yours at once. And you pass. Moogles are quick to make up their minds, Kupo. Oh, yay. Let's go. I'm now a member of Clan Centurio. Wow, that was easy. Here in the clan hall, you'll hear about especially dangerous marks you won't find posted on any board the moment they rear their ugly heads. Well, I'll get on with filing the necessary clan membership certificates. I'll be finished in no time flat, Kapo. Kapo! I nearly forgot. Now that you're a member, you can make purchases from our clan shop in the Muthru Bazaar. Be sure to stop by, Kapo. Ooh, one more thing. The magics and techniques you learned on the license board come in real handy on a hunt, Kupo. If, say, you're thinking you'd like to make some adjustments to someone's board, well, Kupo, I'm the Moogle you need to come see. Happy hunting. Oh, boy. This is, uh, it's getting very expansive. What have we here? A newcomer, eh? Montblanc's the founder of our clan, so be sure to show him the proper respect. Our job's to travel about accepting hunts from the boards, gathering news about marks that need to be dealt with right away. Elite marks and the like. <gasps> Bunny girl. Yes? What is it you need? I'm Kieran. Or however you say that. Cr Crin? A hunter of Clan Centurio. To know my boundaries, did I join the clan? It is a wellspring of information about powerful marks. What is this? Look at that face. A new clan member. Hmm, I am McEnroe. A pleasure, I'm sure. Unlike other members, I cannot participate in hunts. My specialty lies in the collection of information. 
If you have a question about one of your marks, ask. I will tell you what I know. Sweet. Now, where do I get the marks? Where's the board to get the marks? How do I get marks? Hello? Or do I not get... Do I not get marks in here? How does this work? You guys can tell me. Pronounce Crin. Oh, talk to him again? Hey, what the... Excuse you. All your membership papers are in order, Kupo. Allow me to give you this to commemorate you joining the guild. I'll have a little something for you each time you attain a new clan rank, Kupo. Three potions. Keep up the splendid work, Kupo. It's another great day for Clan Centurio, Kupo. Hey, are any new marks? Popo? I'm sorry, but I don't have any hunts to tell you about at the moment, Kupo. Ah. Okay. All right, so... I don't know if we're going to have time to actually go out to the Giza or the Ginza or whatever, but I do want to try to find the map person that they were talking about. And I think they said that they were on the south side. What is this? Yamura's Gambits? my first time in Yamura's. I was just getting an explanation about gambits from this kid here. It's all about efficiency, he says. Looks like you've wandered into the gambit shop by mistake, boy. A great tool for leading a party of adventurers, which I can't help but see you lack. See, with a good set of gambits, you don't have to shout out instructions left and right in a battle. First, you need a party, though. Oh, is this like... Did you watch the parade? Does the forest watch the ocean? Parades are nothing to one traveling the way of the gambit. Seek me out when the way of the gambit is open to you. I will lead you down its path. Okay, so this... I'm guessing this might be like... If I have a party, I can kind of preset or select, um, like... The actions they take. Like... What is it? Wait, what, what am I trying to say? Anyways. Like, be defensive, be offensive, use heals, that kind of thing. They kind of take their own actions based on the generalized stuff that you tell them to do. Okay, so let's see. So I think it was in the south. There was a Moogle, a cartographer, who sells maps. Oh, this is the southern plaza. Oh, look at he's so cute. Would you like to buy a map? Whoa. He's a plains. Okay, cool. Dalmasca Ester Sand. Let's get this one too. We'll save the other one for later. It's 500 gil. Oh, no, 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 oh, I don't have enough gill anyways. It's 550. I have 526. Whew, that was close. Okay, so... I... Where was... Where was I supposed to go again? The plains, but... I don't remember where they said... Uh, let's see. Giza Plains. Looks like they're to the south. Okay. Right? <sighs> okay. Ah, oh, man. I want to go to the plains. I want to keep playing. I feel like we, we have... We've just barely scratched the surface. Let me just take a peek, you know? Just a little peek. 
What do the Giza planes look like? Ooh, what are those little guys? Giza planes. All right, so I have this whole map. Whoa, yeah, we got to do this tomorrow. I'm excited. I wanted to play last night, so I started farming. Uh, I started gr grinding a little bit in the Giza desert, but I didn't want to leave like the this first screen, like that first little area that you go into. And so I was fighting some like wolves and some little bunny um moth things but they respawn so slow so i i didn't <laughs> i just i had to stop after after like a little while because they, they just weren't respawning fast enough okay our goal is to go to giza desert and there's like a village that we're supposed to go to so let's get going Giza Plains. Oh my god, I keep saying desert. Plains. Oh look, and the, at least one of the- a couple of the enemies have respawned. So we can fight one of these wolves, we can fight one of these moth bunnies. <laughs> and then we can head on to the village or whatever. Oh yeah, the speed up is really nice when you're grinding too. That was helping me out a lot. These guys like to run away. This one's very aggressive though. Okay, so... The village is due south, so let's go to it. the dry holds, Kubo, but the monsters during the rains are too scary. The dry should last a while longer, but take care during the rains, Kubo. These big lightning balls don't mess around. Oh no, is it Final Fantasy X all over again? The freaking lightning? You've come from the city? Our village may be small, but you are welcome here. Our village moves with the seasons. When the rains come, Giza fills with water so we cannot stay. Oh, interesting. That's why they're nomads. They, they are constantly moving around. That's why they live in, like, tents and stuff. Sorry, but could you come back later? Gotta finish my work, or I can't play. Have you come to see the dark crystals? Not everyone takes well to the heat of the Giza Plains. And so... Ah, so it is the sunstone you seek. You've come to the right place. They can only ma be made here in Giza. They're quite valuable, though, so we can't go handing them out to just anyone who happens to wander through our camp. You see, we make and sell sunstones to earn the money we need to survive. Still, perhaps we can come to some arrangement. Would you hear my offer? You want me to fight some monsters? Because I could do that! The making of sunstones is a chore we give to the children of our camp. They roam the plains, traveling from dark crystal to dark crystal, Drawing the light from the crystals into the shade stones. One of these children, Jin, has not yet returned. He left carrying our supply of shade stones. If you find Jin for me and tell him to come back to the camp, you may take one of the sunstones he's made in return. Some of the children said they might have seen him to the south of the camp. You may want to speak with them yourself before leaving. Please find Jin and tell him to return at once. Pinello? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? I could ask you the same, though the answer is pretty clear. No good. What? I'm being good. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just trying to is break into the right? castle. What's wrong with that? So then you wouldn't mind if I, say, tagged along, would you? Huh? Oh, don't worry. 
Miguel is busy with preparations for the fade up at the palace. Why, I'm free for the whole day. Well, let's get going. Hmm. Anello joined my party. Oh, I was so close last night to getting my second party member. Guess what? I saw Jin off in the south part of the plains in the Crystal Glade. He was right by a small crystal. I asked if he wanted to come back to camp with me, but he said he still had some work to finish up. The Crystal Glade is to the south of our village. Just head out into Giza Plain and wind your way south. We take breaks in the Glade since monsters seem to stay away from it. I was a little worried because Jin looked like he might have been hurt, but I was afraid to push him too hard to come back. Now I'm wondering if I did the right thing. Okay, so I do remember now what we were doing in the story because I couldn't quite remember when we loaded up the game, but um, we're looking for we're trying to get a sunstone. Whoa, what the hell are these? We're trying to get a sunstone. Chocobos are way cuter. These are ugly. What the hell is this? Oh, it's the cockatrice. Anyways, we're trying to get a sunstone because that's gonna somehow get us into the palace because we want to get into the feast, the fate, for the new console. Organized by Miguelo. Yes? You think they're cute? They're round? They are round. And round is generally cute, but... <laughs> I guess they have their own certain charm to them. I can get... It can get quite, it can get quite hot here in Giza, but it's not all that bad if you can find a nice spot in the shade. Take care before heading out onto the plains. Our children don't leave without making the proper preparations, and neither should you. It doesn't shy at your approach, it seems tame. Well, that's good, because they look like they could really fuck me up if they wanted to. Don't worry, they don't bite. These cockatrices are as tame as can be. Aren't they just the fluffiest, cutest things you've ever seen? No, they're not. Sure, I know Jin. Renoa was complimenting the sunstones he made, and I think it made Tot jealous. I just don't get it. Why can't they just get along with each other? Well, this is a nice little place, and it looks like the Imperials don't really bother them, or at least they don't, like, hang out here all day and all night. I saw the Jin in the Crystal Glade. I, I saw Jin in the Crystal Glade. We take breaks in the Glade sometimes, since monsters seem to stay away from it. The Crystal Glade is to the south of our village. Just head out into Giza Plain and wind your way south. What you got for me? Ooh, can I sell all my... Okay, let me see. I was doing some grinding, like I said. I was doing some farming. I have loot. Okay, but I don't want to sell the teleport stone. I'm not sure why that's under loot. That doesn't seem like it should be there. But everything else I could probably sell. Seventeen hundred. New bazaar goods. Ooh, antidote set. Three antidotes for a hundred. I'll take it. I like sales. Okay, I have two daggers. Well, let me sell one. What? I can't sell one because I've equipped one, so I can't sell the second one. Oh wait, I have another party member. Maybe she also uses a dagger. She uses a dagger. Optimize. Okay, so can we go over here and do this? All right, so Pinello, should we make her a white mage? Give her some healing. Should we make her a... So I could, I could literally just pick one of these and make her that. 
And then if I wanted to change, I could just change at any time. No, maybe not at any time. Maybe I have to like talk to a certain p uh, person, but I can essentially change when I decide to. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, let's make her an archer maybe. Capture foes for loot. Let's make her an archer. Choose, yes. All right, we'll make her an archer for now. Do any of them use guns? Yes, there's one that uses guns. It's called a... I forgot. But one of them uses guns. This one, the ma m machinist or machinist? I don't know. Okay, so she's an archer. Okay. We, she has 45, so we definitely need her to have bows so she can equip a bow, right? And then we definitely want her to wear some armor. So light armor. And then we have five, uh, 15 left. So we could do light armor too, or we could do accessories. Um, that seems like a good idea. Okay. 10 left, no more points. Okay, let's buy her a bow. Short bow. Optimize. What? License needed bows one? Didn't I get that? Oh god, I messed up. I got bows one. Did I not? Oh, I need arrows? Even to equip it? Okay. I guess that makes sense. Added a quiver of onion arrows to the inventory. Okay. We're learning. We're learning. Optimize. Short bow with onion arrows. Now, do the, my question is, let's see. The onion arrows, is this just like one equip and it's infinite? It's unlimited ammo. Okay, yes. Good. All right, let's go. Okay, so they want us to go south. I want to go... I kind of want to go... With my times two speed. I kind of want to loop around here. Hey, Van, let me give you these before we go. There are all sorts of monsters out there, so you can never be too careful. Three potions and two tufts of phoenix downs. So far you've been traveling by yourself, but now that I'm here, we can travel as a party. You can give commands to allies in your party just like you've been doing for yourself up to now. I'll make my own decisions about what to do too, but you can give me specific commands and I'll take care of those first. Got it? Okay. Sounds good to me. Oh, one more thing. If you don't want me to fight on my own, you can always turn my gambits off. If my gambits turned off, I won't do anything until you give the word. You should really think about using gambits for yourself, you know. It can make managing a battle a lot easier. Well, you ready to go? Vaughn, I think Jin was supposed to be somewhere to the south of the village. We might find him faster if we headed a different way. I am aware of that. Where's my gambits? Didn't it say it was added to my something? Whatever. Okay. Oh, gambits on. Gambits off. Oh, okay. So right now it's just pretty simple. Straightforward. Back to Robin Oster. This way! Get to explore a new place. 
21 gil. So she should attack it. Yes. Okay, yeah. Okay, what do we have here? And what do we have there? Dark crystal. The dark crystal radiates a brilliant light. Is that something that's gonna kill us? Like, I don't have Libra. They said there was a way to find out the strength of an enemy. Oh God, am I gonna die? here. because it failed last time. I got an earth stone. Hey, we did it! Guess he's not as strong as a T-Rex. So this is pretty crazy. So I could be having a completely different party than I have right now. At this moment in the game with like my first two characters i could have like two battle mages or somebody with a gun and somebody with like an axe or something hey level up right correct that's, to me that's crazy oh my goodness we're dying Yeah, we're playing Final Fantasy V later this year, too. Oh! Oh! Slow it down, slow it down. Oh my god, Midgard Stormer. Don't one shot me, please. I got a snake skin. Yeah! We okay? Wild snake. Man, that thing looks crazy cool. Oh god. Oh goodness. Okay, we got new enemies here. New enemies and I'm afraid. Look, as long as they're not a T-Rex, I should be fine, right? You have a big sword. Werewolf. Select a new party leader. Nello. Run! I can't.
What about that other weird looking thing? Okay, I guess we're not going to explore around there. That's fine. Okay, yes, this is the way we want to go. Okay, we made it. Are you, what's his name? Jin? Yeah, my name's Jin. What's it to ya? Masyua? Masyua? Masyua wants me to come back to the village, huh? Hmm, that could be a problem. Let's see. Maybe my leg's better now. Nope. No good. Still hurts. I tripped running from some monsters. Guess I pulled something. I'm never gonna get any sunstones made like this. I just need to make one more to be finished for today. I didn't want to head back short. I thought I'd give my leg a rest and try again. Why are you out here looking for me anyhow? So, you need a sunstone, huh? Well, if Masyua doesn't mind, I'll give you a shade stone, but I'm still not sure I can walk yet. You'll have to turn it into a sunstone, okay? Don't worry, I'll tell you how. You do know that we use dark crystals and get shade stones to make sunstones, right? There's your shade stone. As for the dark crystals, you'll find them all over Giza Plains. This stone right here beside me is one of the smaller ones. Bigger crystals has something inside that soaks up sunlight and shines really bright. See that one over there? If you take the shade stone I just gave you and bring it near one of those shining dark crystals, it'll absorb the energy from it. There are four shining cris dark crystals in Giza right now. If you have trouble finding them, just stop and scan the horizon. There's no way to tell how much energy you can draw from any one crystal without trying. You shouldn't need to use all four, though. This gauge will show you how much energy the sa shade stone's absorbed. When it's full, you'll have yourself a sunstone. Once you've made yourself the sunstone, bring it to me. I'll make sure it's up to snuff. I'll go ahead and mark the dark crystals on your map, too. Just, uh, see you back here when you're done. Yay, we healed. Alright. I see them. Let's go away that we haven't gone. here. We gotta get Canelo to level 4. I think we can do it. Oh, 
Yeah. Well, it's a lot. It's a uh, quite a bit faster when you have a second person to help you attack. to the crystal. Damn, 44%! We're almost halfway there already. Eee. All right. Four percent. So this is what the kids on Giza Plains do to make their way. Maybe one of them will take you on as an apprentice. Yeah, yeah. Let's just find the next crystal, okay? I don't really remember what their voices sound like. I'll just wing it. those little guys are the little fluffy antenna their little fluffy pom-pom tail we did it let's go back that's it nothing to it let's take it back to Jin and see what he says I hope we did it right sure let's go we're gonna cut through the village, though. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> I was gonna go and, and heal at the crystal. There's a crystal here to heal at, though, too. Hey, look. Hey, you've got a sunstone. Let's take a look. Hmm, seems okay to me. Not bad for city folk. So here's what happened. Masi, Masi is always warning us to stay away from the werewolves, right? Well, a bunch of us decided we'd have a little contest to see who's the bravest. It started out as a lark, but Tot said that none of his kids living on the plane should be scared of monsters. I guess I got carried away. Don't let any of the grown-ups know, though, okay? Anyway, my leg's feeling better now. Let's head back to the village. I'll race ya! Try and keep up! Jin made it back home safe and sound. He is a good boy. But how he his mind wanders, he never thinks of the worry it causes me. I'm sorry if he was any trouble. Please, take these with my thanks. 50 gil, 2 potions, and 2 teleport stones. Jin gave you a sunstone, yes? Hope it may be of some help to you. I'm gonna use it for breaking and entering! Hell yeah! But I could get, like, Libra. But I need to buy it. Okay. I think we could go buy it, though. Martyr, gain MP after taking damage. That sounds good. I have 69. First aid. Ooh, that sounds good, too. I'll get first aid. Oh, shit. Maybe I don't want it. I can't take it back. Okay, we're gonna get Martyr and first aid. And then I was gonna give her, um... First aid, but I'll give her Libra. I guess I'll give her Martyr as well. She doesn't have first aid, actually, so... Yeah, there you go. There you have it. Ooh, poach. Poach. 
Libra and first aid. I can only buy one of each? Oh, maybe it's... I don't equip them. I just have them. Is that how that works? You have to buy them once for the whole party, but everyone has to buy license them. licenses for them separately if they're... Okay, that's what I was thinking. All right, cool. Hey, Vaughn? Huh? It's been a long time since we did anything together. Too long. I had a really good time. Well, I should probably be getting back to the store. Actually, I was kind of supposed to be watching the place for Magello. And Vaughn, try to stay out of trouble. For me, I don't know what I'd do if you weren't here. If something happened to you. I'm not going anywhere, okay? That's what I wanted to hear. See you later. Except maybe a teensy weensy little adventure to like probably save the world, kill God, or something Sorry, like that. Pinello. I don't know. I don't know where this is headed, but <laughs> something like that probably. Oh ho, so you've got a sunstone, have you? Hand it over, my boy, and I'll use it to give the pro uh, the crescent stone back its magics, like I promised. Now you'll be wanting to know how to sneak into the palace, eh? First you go to Storehouse 5. You know the one. Two doors she has. Mm -hmm. Now the right takes Ban Ratsbane to his territorial hunting grounds in the sewer bottom, but that's not the way you'll go. No, you'll take the left door down into the Garamsite waterway. Okay. The waterway leads to a stair, mm -hmm. the stair to the palace cellars. That's your way in. But don't go counting your gill just yet, my boy. Getting into the palace was the easy part. The way into the treasury is carefully hidden. That's where this crescent stone comes in. The magics it bears can open the hidden door to the treasury, you see. Listen, Vaughn, for the words I shall speak are most important and not to be forgotten. Do you understand? The signet yearns for sunstone strength to light the clouded way. Once in the palace, you'll find the signet tile. Very important. Give to it the sun's power, and it will light your path. Very well. Oh, a warning. Be aware that if you're caught, you'll spend the rest of your short life rotting in the Nalbina dungeon. So, look sharp, my boy. And don't go running off before you're ready. Plans freshly hatched have a habit of tumbling from the nest. Straight into the hunter's stew pot. <laughs> careful there, buddy. Be careful. Oh. Waterway. <sighs> Squads three through six are in place. They stand ready. So far, the Imperials haven't noticed a thing. Then go it's now and hurry the, the others. By the nightfall, we must ensure all our men are in place. Sir. Sir. That doesn't seem like it was a flashback. worked out how to get the door on the left side open. I hope there's something in there besides rats. I wanted you to go in first, so I waited for you to come before opening it. Well, that's one of the reasons I waited. Thing is, I'm gonna need some special tools to open the door. Gonna need you to go fetch them for me. Of course. Of course. I couldn't just go into the sewer and kill things and have fun. Mm -mm. Okay. I know, I know. Not the most exciting thing to do, is it? Are you reading my mind? little guy 
I'm just messing with you. I've got everything I need ready to go. Hang on while I open it. He trolled me! Hmm, let's see. Yeah, that should do it. Huh? On second thought, I actually do need your help. Please, no. It's open! Now we've got a whole nother place to explore. Oh, and I almost forgot. Take these with you before you go. No telling what's down there. Might come in handy. Two potions and four files of eye drops. Yay! Perfect. They got me. They got me with that. I thought I was going to have to go on a fetch quest. Garum Scythe Waterway. Okay, we're, we made it to the sewer level. The obligatory sewer level, yeah? Oh, I don't have my my little Penelope with me, my Penelo. I have first aid now, though. That's cool. Yeah. Oh, if only I had my archer with me, that would be really nice. Back here. Back here. Um, let's try this first aid. Really? It missed? It only works if you're in critical red health. Oh. Oh, wait, let's see. Restore HP to one HP critical ally. Ah, I remember reading that. Okay. Well then, I guess I'm just gonna use a potion. <laughs> Cause I would rather not get into the critical HP realm of things, you know? Let's just avoid that. If we can. So I'm just gonna fight rats in here. That's pretty, uh. pretty boring. We'll just, uh. try to fast forward through these fights. before? Icthon? Oh, that's a razor fin. Oh, it is different. I'm still not in the 
red? I can't use first aid right now? That's crazy. If I'm in the red, I'm probably dead already. I'm probably never going to <laughs> use it. The palace should be right up these stairs. Let's go. Won't be easy getting out. Am I ready for this? It's now or never. A gun she got bunny ears what a pair i feel like some kind of uh rebellion underground rebellion is that gonna happen while we're here during all this not be able to leave this area easily you may wish to save your game to a new file i always save my game to a new file 